Okay, everyone. So now we are starting a program where we are going to make the sum of two numbers. We will be taking two text boxes. We will take the inputs from the user and we will take the sum. So that is the program that we are doing. So first of all, we are going to the file, then new project. So we are starting the new project. Here, as we are using the Visual Basic .NET, that means VB.NET, that's why we are selecting this VB. If you are using C Sharp and you have just installed that, so C Sharp, J Sharp option will come. But I have only installed VB.NET, that's why VB is coming. Under that, there are many applications like web, Windows. So I am developing the desktop application. So here I am selecting Windows. Then there are again multiple options, but we are sticking to the Windows form. So here I am giving the name of this application. Let's say sum. So this is the program which we are going to make. So this project we are creating with the name sum and then we are pressing OK. So now the project is going to create. So there we are having the form. So we can see that here the form is available and on the left hand side we are having the toolbox. Sometimes the toolbox is like this in the corner or maybe it is not available then we can go on the view menu and we can take the toolbox. So that is the option. First of all we are clicking on the toolbox and here we are pinning it so that we can drag and drop all the icons or all the controls very easily. So now here in the solution explorer you can see that the name of project which we have given is the sum and the form one is the form on which we are working right now. So first of all I want to display a message to the user so I am putting a label here. Now in this label I want to ask for the first number. So I am clicking on this label and I am going the properties. You can see that this is label one properties. We know that whenever we want to display to the user, we have to change this text. So I am just asking from the user first number. Now afterward, I will just click back to the form. You can see that first number. I am taking one more label here. Now I am aligning it again, clicking on the properties and going here and asking from the user second number. So the text property I am changing to the second number clicking back you can see that on the form second number is there now I'm scrolling down in the toolbox and I'm finding the input box so with the help of that text box I will take the input so here you can see we are having the text box I am dragging and dropping in front of first number Similarly, I am dragging and dropping in front of second number. So now we have taken the two labels that is enter first number and the enter second number and two text boxes in which we will take the numbers from the user. Now their sum, I want that that should be displayed. So I am taking one more label here and I am just changing the name here. So that is the sum. So here you can see that sum that means let's say user is entering one and two. So their sum will be three. So that should be displayed also. So that's why I need one more text box here. So I'm dragging and dropping one text box. So let's say on the first and second user will enter the number and in the third we will get the output. But when it will get the output, let's say we are having a button here. So on clicking of button, it can give us the output. We can give any name to this button. Let's say we are putting the text here and we are writing that calculate. So let's say this is the name of calculate. So by clicking on calculate, you will get the sum. Now this is the name form one. Whenever it will be displayed to the user, it will be shown as form one. We can make it like, let's say calculator. So we can give any of the text here. Mostly we are using change the name. Actually it signifies changing the text because we are not changing the actual name. We know that the actual name is the form one which we can check here. This is the actual name. 
so by which we are going to do the code so this is the name and which is displayed to the user that is the text so here these all are the text just like this calculator is a text first number is a text but actual name is the label one here it is the text second number but the name is label two similarly the sum is the text and the name is label three and if you talk about this calculate here calculate is the button one now you understand whenever i run this program so this is the start debugging the program is now going to run some type of output will come so this is the output which will come let's say if i enter number 12 and here if i enter 10 and if i click on calculate then afterwards some should be displayed but right now if i am clicking nothing is happening because i have not done any of the coding right now so this is the time to do the coding now we should be intelligent where to do the coding we know that if i has to click on button then afterward something should be performed so that means this button should be coded so we are closing this that means we are stopping debugging and we are double clicking on this button so once we are double clicking on button some kind of code will open now we should understand what that code is first of all we should understand what is the name of public private you can see that there is a public and there is a private let's say we are having two forms here in this project if i am making private private means only inside this form i can work so that is called private just like if this if i talk about this button so button is private that means this button is the property of this form only if we are having two forms here in this project let's say then this button cannot be accessed outside this form that's why it is private so this is by default private we are not changing it we are only understanding so private means this button is the part of this form it cannot be accessed outside but this form this complete form i am talking about this complete form is public because whenever i run this project then i am taking the output or the input from the user so it should be accessed outside that's why this complete form is public but this button or any other control will remain the private property of this form only so whenever you done the coding you will see that private button so that means button is the private property of the form and this form we can access outside that's why this is public just like if we are doing the coding of c c plus plus we start with the curly bracket and the closing bracket similarly here we are having public class form one and here we are having end class end class means this class started and here the class is ending so class start class end just like earlier we was having the curly brackets we start with the curly bracket then we close with the curly bracket in the c programming but here we are not having the curly bracket concept we are simply having the class and the end class similarly in the c programming we was having the functions here also we are having the functions of different different category just like sub is a function so end sub sub is a type of function so here is the end sub now what are that we will understand slowly slowly once we are going with the program but we are taking the overview so here we are having the public form so the class is maintained automatically by the dot net and this class is ended here now inside that we are having a function which is named as button one underscore click so that is automatically by the dot net sub is a function private means it is the private property of the dot net form and here we are passing the two arguments again it is automatically done by the dot net only you can see that by value in the c programming we know there are two methods one is the pass by value and one is the pass by reference whenever we are passing the address that is called pass by reference 
अदरवाइज इफ द वैल्यू कॉपी इज पास सो हेयर इट इज कॉल्ड बाय वैल्यू इन द सी वी यूज स्टार एंड द एंड ऑपरेटर बट हेयर दो कंसेप्ट आर नॉट प्रेजेंट दैट्स वाई दिस बाय वैल्यू एंड बाय रेफरेंस विल बी यूज ऑटोमेटिकली सो सेंडर एज द ऑब्जेक्ट सो दिस इज वन ऑब्जेक्ट वी आर पासिंग एंड बाय वैल्यू ई एज सिस्टम डॉट इवेंट ऑर्ग्यूमेंट सो दीज टू थिंग्स आर ऑटोमेटिकली पास वेन एवर द बटन विल बी क्लिकड एंड हेयर वेन इट विल बी कॉल्ड इट विल बी कॉल्ड वेन वी क्लिक ऑन बटन सो बटन वन डॉट क्लिक मीन्स वेन एवर यू क्लिक द बटन इट हैंडल इट इट जस्ट कॉल दिस फंक्शन विच इज अ प्राइवेट फंक्शन एंड पास टू ऑर्ग्यूमेंट्स सो दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस कोड बट या दिस कोड इज ऑटोमेटिक वी डोंट हैव टू राइट एनी वेयर which coding we has to write now we are going to perform so now we are going to do the code for the button let's say first of all we are going back to the designing phase here what we want that whenever this text box 1 and text box 2 how can we find the name if i click over there text box 1 and if i click over there text box 2 so from these two text boxes i has to take the input which user take let's say i am the user i am entering 10 and 20 so in this text box is 10 and 20 will be taken by this particular code and when we click on the button their output should be coming to the text box 3 so first task is to take the input from text box 1 and text box 2 by clicking on the button so i am double clicking on the button i am going back to the code now we know that we need two variables on these variables we will take the input from the text boxes now how to declare the variable inside the vb.net so here is the method we are having dim dim stands for the dimension or we sometimes say declaration so dim variable name a comma b so we need two variables a comma b it is automatically suggesting me as so dim a comma b as which type of variable we want let's say we want the integer type so automatically it is showing me integer so if i simply press a tab automatically that thing will be taken so this is our first line here you can see that if i am having a float i will say dim a b as float if i want a double i will say dim a b as double a b as string so dim will be the fixed keyword that is dimension or the declaration so declare a b as integer declare a b as float or double or character so this way we can declare so you can see that it is saying dim a b as integer so we are having two variables here now automatically it is showing me in the description that unused variable a unused variable b dotted is very much intelligent it always keep us telling that you are having two variables which are unused so everything will be taken care here now in variable a i will take the input from the text box 1 so i am saying a is equal to text box 1 you see automatically in the drop down menu it is showing me text box 1 2 and 3 so whatever the text boxes i have dragged and dropped their information it is collected automatically now simply by going up and down i can take so first of all i am taking text box 1 if i am putting a tab space then obviously it will take automatically that thing so simply you select it and put the tab so a is equal to text box 1 what text box one we want we want that in the text box one whatever the text user write we should take so text box one dot you can see that multiple things are there again what you want text box size you want you want text box alignment length no i simply want text box text so you select it and put the tab so here you can see that a is equal to text box 1 dot text so that is the first line we are writing here that text box text we are taking and putting into a 
now understand one thing whenever we are writing this line and we are writing here text so everything will be coming in the form of text just like let's say if i am writing a b c that is a text but if i am writing 1 2 3 mm. that is not a text it is the integer so we should be convert that text to the integer that's why we are using a function here val val is a function that is converting the text to the integer but many of the times if you are not applying this function val function then again it will take the integer so not a problem but yes logically it is not correct because dot net says that whenever i take the input from any of the text box i will be taking as a text so it is your perception that you should convert to the value but let's say if you are not converting logically it will be incorrect dot net will convert it automatically but we should convert it that's why i am putting the val function so here what it is line is doing from text box 1 we are going to take the text which user is writing and that complete text will be converted to the value value means integer and that will be stored to the a so this is the first line is using so successfully we have code for the first text box means the text box one value we have taken into a variable now is the time to take the variable b and you can see that it is showing that unused variable b that means a you have used so as you are making the program dot it is keep on checking what you are doing so b is equal to same we are taking from the text box 2 dot text means from the text box 2 we are taking the text and we are converting that complete text to the value value means we are converting that complete to the integer so automatically you can see that dot net converted that val to the capital and text box you can see that t capital b capital so automatically odd things are done by the dot net we don't have to worry so here on the click of button because what we are writing here that is under the click of button so whenever you click the button two variables will be declared of integer type and they will take the value from text box 1 and 2 now what you want we want that there some should be displayed to the text box 3 so here this value is gone to a variable this value is gone to b variable now there some should be coming to text box 3 so now is the time to code back here we are writing text box 3 dot text means inside the text box 3 we are going to write the text and that is equal to what that is equal to variable a plus b so these two variable sum that will be taken in the text box 3 so you can see that this complete code we have written in the button 1 so whenever you click the button this code will execute it will declare two variables take the value of text box 1 and 2 and give the sum back to text box 3 so we are going to run it now we are going to see the code parallelly how it is working let's say i am writing 10 here and i am writing 20 here now i am going to click on the button so when the button will click what will happen this value 10 will be gone to a then afterward the value 20 will be gone to b then afterward their sum will be given back to the text box 3 so here you can see that 10 and 20 sum is 30 so this is how we can calculate the sum of two numbers using the vb dot net